What's good, my friends? Welcome to another Upstreet Online. I am your boy, Lando, and I am so pumped you're checking things out here on the web. But get this, Upstreet IRL in real life. It's pretty amazing. So, if you're ever in Georgia, come hang out with us sometime. Oh, okay, I've been working on something for school, and I've never done anything like this before, but I am pretty jazzed about it. Practice my pitch on y'all, and you can tell me what you think. Okay, hold on. I gotta run and get something off the printer, all right? Stay there. Courage. Uh, no, no. This flyer is all wrong. I mean, if I can't even do a flyer, pulling this idea off is ridiculous. So I had this idea to do a book drive at our school. Like the older kids could donate books that they don't read anymore. And then the younger kids could pick out some new to them books. But truth bomb, when it comes to books and reading, I'm probably not the first guy that comes to mind. Like I've probably only read like three chapter books ever. Now this flyer is messed up. <sighs> book drive. Who am I kidding? Can't do this. Wow, Lando, I get it. You've got this idea and you know it would be great, but you're not sure if you're big enough or brave enough or smart enough to even do it. Has this ever happened to you? Well, believe it or not, we aren't the first ones to ever feel like we were too weak or too little to do something really big. There's a guy I wanna tell you about who felt a lot like Lando and his name was Gideon. He was the leader of the Israelite army. We can read about him in a book from the Bible called Judges. Yeah, the book of Judges is about some really amazing battles, and I'm gonna tell you about one of those battles today. This battle starts with a little guy named Gideon. Gideon was a part of a group of people called the Israelites, and the Israelites were pretty much being owned by this group of evil people called the Midianites. Yeah, super sour, not sweet. In fact, there were so many Midianites, it was impossible to count them. One, two, 100, 10,000, I mean, 52, whoa, whoa! There were so many Midis. And the Midianites were so mean and so scary that Gideon and his people, the Israelites, were actually hiding in caves. Well, one day Gideon was doing some work and an angel, a real live angel from heaven, a messenger of God came and actually spoke to him. What? The angel said, the Lord is with you mighty warrior. Go in the strength you have and save Israel. Now, wait a second. Remember, Gideon was living in a cave because he was so scared of the Midianites but the angel just called him a mighty warrior? Gideon was like, God, how can I save Israel? My family is the weakest in the whole tribe and I'm the smallest in my family. Gideon thought he was the last person God would want to help save his people. But this messenger from God reminded Gideon of something important, five words that would change everything. I will be with you. In other words, Gideon wasn't going to be alone. God was going to be with him. So Gideon could be brave and remember that God was with him. So he started to gather an army. So we've got Gideon. Then Gideon gathers a group of 32,000 Israelites to fight the Midianites. That's quite an army, but God wanted Gideon's army to be a little smaller. So God told Gideon to send anyone home who was scared, send anyone home who didn't want to face off with the bad Midianites. And Gideon did what God asked, which left him about 10,000 men. 10,000 is definitely still great, but God wanted Gideon's army to be smaller. Gideon did what God asked and let some more men go. And do you know how many fighting men he was left with? 5,000 maybe, 3,000? Well, that still would have been a lot of men, but no. Gideon was left with only 300 men. 
32,000 soldiers down to 300? If I'm Gideon, I'm like, yikes. But God wanted Gideon to fight the Midianites with 300 men. 300 men against an army of thousands? But that's what God asked Gideon to do. So that's what Gideon did. Why? Because Gideon knew he wasn't alone. God was with him and Gideon could trust him. So now it's fighting time. And God told Gideon how they were going to win the battle. Gideon went to his army and told them what they were going to do. First, they were going to wait until nighttime. Gideon told them that they would surround the Midianite army in the middle of the night. And Gideon gave each member of the army a trumpet and a torch. They also got a jar to hide the light so that it could sneak up on the Midianites at just the right moment. So these feel like pretty unusual weapons for battle, but that's what God told Gideon to give them. And when Gideon gave the go ahead, they would throw their jars down on the ground, blow their trumpets and shout that the battle is for the Lord. So imagine the Midianites all asleep in their tents, off in La La Land, and then when they least expect it, all of a sudden, they hear this racket, horns, crashing jars. They don't know where it's coming from. They're still half asleep. They don't know what's going on. They think they're under attack, but they're really all just confused and they're swinging their swords. It's dark, they can't see. They start fighting. They don't know who they're hitting. It's chaos, it's loud. They're confused and they're so scared. And then the Midianites actually ran away and Gideon's army won. Do you think that when Gideon was hiding in a cave, that he would ever imagine he would win a huge battle? No, but do you know who did? God. And just like Gideon, God wants to use you for something amazing. You can be brave and remember that God is with you. You can trust God to give you the courage. You need to do whatever he's asking you to do. Maybe you're afraid about being in a new school and making new friends this year you can be brave and remember that God is with you in that new school. Maybe you're afraid of playing a new sport or standing up in front of the class or going to the dentist or introducing yourself to a new neighbor. You can be brave and remember that God is with you whenever you're nervous about something big. God doesn't ask you to show courage on your own. He is with you and you can trust him. Courage starts with remembering where our courage comes from. Courage comes from trusting God and remembering He is with you. So be brave and remember that God is with you wherever you go. Let's pray. God, help us be like Gideon. Help us to be courageous. We know courage really comes from trusting you and knowing you are always with us. Help us to know what you want us to do and give us the courage to do it. We love you, amen. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Wow. If a bunch of gummy bears can take down an army with just some trumpets and jars, I got this. So what if I don't know where my library card is and I've got a few like charges I need to pay? I'm not gonna let a few typos stand in the way of something that could really be awesome. And it's a great reminder that I'm not alone in this. God's got me. He'll give me everything I need to get this book drive up and running, including spell check. All right, guys, I'm off to fix my fire and get these puppies plastered all over the school. All right, peace.
more standing. 